Hey everyone, my name is Vinalin, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can chat with a PDF file using only a local model. If you're privacy aware and if you don't want to send your data to ChatGPT's API or any other API, you can use GPT for all along with Hugging Face embeddings in Langchain in order to chat with your PDF files. So how you can do that, I'm going to show you in this video. Let's get started. This is the official page of GPT for all. And here it says that it is free to use locally running privacy aware chatbot, no GPU or internet required. So what all this means is that this model is actually downloaded on your hard drive and then you can run it from your own machine. And they have a pretty nice UI application that is running inference on M1 Mac, which is great. But in this video, we're going to see what is the performance of a specific model running on a Ubuntu machine or Google Club machine with high RAM. And we're going to compare, and you're going to compare actually how much faster or slower is this compared to what they're presenting right here. They have a lot of installers. So these are the capabilities, personal writing assistant, code, understand documents, etc. And uh, actually the installation instructions are pretty much non-existent. Well, okay. So I'm going to show you how you can install this. And there we have links to all of the ec ecosystem. And you can see that uh, you can even train your own models at the Python bindings that we're going to use. And then documentation and chat. And right here they have this model explorer you can see that they have a lot of models. And in this case, we're going to use actually this first one, the one that is trained or based on GPTJ and actually created by the Nomic AI. So these are the guys that are providing GPT for all with the latest and greatest data set that they have. I have a running Google Co-op notebook with high RAM and you can change the runtime type from change runtime type and then you have to select high RAM since GPT-4 is using a lot of it and we're going to need it. All right, so next I am downloading a PDF file that we're going to have a look at in a bit. And then I am downloading the checkpoint that we are going to use and it is GPT-4J, so with GPT-J backend and then the version is 1.3 Groovy. And this bin file is 3.5 gigabytes of memory or storage and this is the structure of the the directory we have the model checkpoint and then the pdf that we're going to have a look at next i am going to run the imports but before that i'm going to show you what are the installation packages that we're going to use i'm going to use popware just to present you the pages of the PDF. And then I'm using Clankchain, ChromaDB, Pi PDF, Pi GPT-4, which is the embedding for GPT-4, and then PDF to image, just show you the images of the PDF. Note that there is a newer version of Langchain that is using the newer bindings for GPT-4. The library now is called just GPT-4. But in my experiments thus far, the newer bindings don't work well with the new version of Langchain. I was unable to run anything through the model. I was waiting for like 20 minutes or more just to take an output and I didn't get any. So in the future, I might change this in the text tutorial that is going to follow this video. But just for now, the newer Langchain versions don't work well with GPT-4.0. All. all right, so here are the imports. And then I'm going to take the PDF file and convert it into images. This is going to create two images since we have two images in the PDF or two pages. So the first one is a page of dividends. So this is a financial statement from Microsoft and I've downloaded this just from the Microsoft official web page. So this is the table of dividends and you can see that we have the declaration date. 2022 and then the dividend per share was 62 cents and then we have the same thing for the 2021 and here the dividend per share was 56 cents so this is the first page and then on the next page 
And this is a stock performance graph that is included in the, the annual report from Microsoft. So you can see that they're comparing here SP500 and then the Nasdaq compared to their stock performance if you invested uh, something at June at 2017, if you invested 100 bucks, they you will likely get 397 bucks at 2022. So this is the performance that is included into the annual report. And we're going to ask some questions about that using GPT-40. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is to load the PDF file and then convert the PDF into texts. So this is going to use the P PDF order and uh, recall that I'm using these dependencies here, which is called PyPDF. Internally, Langchain is using this for this loader in order to load the file and then extract the text from it. And this is converted into documents for Langchain. So if we have a look at the first document, for example, you see that it has page content and then have an index of the page, then a source. And then this is the text that is included within the page content. Uh, of course, the source is within the metadata, which is again, source and page. And for the page content, you can see that we are actually loading the first page. And this pretty much looks like the table that we got right here. And it is uh, pretty well formatted or reformed. So the water is doing a good job there. Then I'm going to split even further the texts into chunks in order to maximize the amount of data that we are going to put in GPT-40 since our model has only 1000 tokens as a limit. So in this case, I'm going to chunk the elements into 100 or 1024 and I'm going to split the texts. So this is going to take both of the pages that we have and convert them into texts. And you can see that both of those pages are actually converted into three texts. And again, each text is a document. And you can now see that the first page was pretty much, yeah, divided into two, since this total, if you recall, is included up to somewhere around here. So this part of the page was included in another text. So this is what the chunking of the data is doing. So in order to search for the texts and using our questions, we are going to need some embeddings to do that. And for this purpose, again, we're going to use something that is completely free. We're going to use the Hugging Face embeddings. And this is actually going to use the Sentence Transformers library in order to embed the text that we have. Uh, of course, you can specify another model name right here, but this one should be a good start. I think that this is the, actually the default one. And it is based on the mini language modeling that was provided by Microsoft, I think. So this is the embeddings and this is going to uh, pretty much go ahead and download the embeddings model. Uh, you can see that it is downloading the PyTorch model and then the tokenizer along with that. So next I'm going to use Chroma in order to store the embeddings from the text or do the embedding itself. And when I run this, uh, it's going to tell us that it's going to create this DB directory that we specified. And you can see that it gets this index. And if, even if I call db.persist, Yeah, this should go ahead and actually store the data on our disk, something that's not really important uh, for this video, but just in case you might want to persist the data. All right, so the actual large language model itself, again, is going to be GPT-40, and it is going to be this flavor of GPT-40. And this one is uh, pretty much trained with GPT-J, so it is freely available for commercial use. Uh, yeah, I have this right here. Don't need that actually. So this is the model path, which is pointing just to this file right here. And if I run this, this will go and load the model. I don't want it to be verbose, just in case that might speed up the performance. 
but you see in a bit that actually the performance of this model is quite low at least on a cpu and it, at the current moment it's not really easy to run this on a gpu so now that we have the model loaded we can create a chain type or a retrieval q a chain and in this case i'm going to pass in the gpt 4 all and then i'm going to pass in the database and i'm want for each document or each result, uh, we uh, we get also the source of the document. So let's run this. This uh, happens pretty fast. And then these are the actual questions that we're going to ask. So how much is the dividend per share during 2022 extracted from the text? So I would expect that this is going to give us 0.62 dollars or 62 cents. Let's run this. And finally, GPT for all is done. As you can see, it took it about five and a half minutes. And if you know any ways to speed this up, please share it in the comments down below. At least from what I've gathered thus far, the GPU interface doesn't work with the bindings itself. So this might change in the future. And this might be uh, quite a bit of a speed up compared to this so let's see what is the response you can see that it got the query then the result and then uh, this is the source documents that is going to use within the answer and i'm going to print the response right here and it says that the dividend per share during 2022 is 62 cents let's check this out and double check it so yeah dividend per share 62 cents okay so it got what this one correctly uh so let's check the next one how much is the investment amount in microsoft on 622 and uh, you can see that my runtime just crashed because it used all of the available ram so i'm going to rerun everything and going to prompt the model again and this is the response that I get after six minutes of waiting. So yeah, this model is pretty slow. And the total investment amount in Microsoft on 6 2022 is $1 million. Wow. So it got this totally wrong. And I've tried a lot of different prompts, but haven't got it to check the answer which is actually right here within that table so maybe you can try a couple of different prompts and maybe you can try chat gpt or other model and tell me in the comments down below if it is doing better compared to gpt for all this is it for this video we've seen how you can chat with a pdf file using only local model in this case we've used gpt for all with langchain and some hugging face embeddings provided by sentence transformers I'm going to include all of the source code, in this case, the Google Club Notebook into the link into the description down below. I'm also going to write a complete text tutorial that is going to be available for free on ML Expert, so you can read that one as well. Please like, share and subscribe and please join the Discord channel that I'm going to link down into the description below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.